Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's first question is using the phylogenic tree above answer the following questions and the first question list three monophyletic clades. Monophyletic clades we define as we just take certain common ancestor for example here this is going to be a common ancestor of the species C and D and we circle this common ancestor and all its descendants. So this is going to be one monophyletic group or clade and he is uh, going to be second one. Again, we include all the descendants of this recent common ancestor of the species B, C and D. And he is uh, going to be the last one. And again, we circle all descendants of this common ancestor to all this species or taxa. So as you see we have here three monophyletic clades of the different inclusiveness. Next question list three sister relationships and include the most recent common ancestor for each sister relationship in your answer. And take a look here we have species C and D or taxa C and D and recent common ancestor is going to be here. So for taxa D, sister group is going to be taxa C. And for the clade which is here, sister group is going to be B. And for the monophyletic group which includes descendants of this common ancestor for this group which include species B, C and D or taxa B, C and D sister group or sister taxa is going to be this taxa. So we can find here three sister relationships and next list paraphyletic clade. Imagine that we took this recent common ancestor and instead of circling all the descendants B, C and D, we only circle descendants C and D. This is going to be example of the prophylactic group and if we would include species B here, we are going to get monophyletic group or monophyletic clade. So definition of the prophylactic group would be when we take common ancestor and include only part of its descendants. And next question lists polyphyletic clade and for example it can be this group of species B and A. As you see they are not closely related. He is a recent common ancestor but we include them in the same group because for example they can fly or swim. For example B and duck can fly. But they are of course not closely related. But we arrange them for the straight in this group. So we call this polyphyletic clade. And the last question is C more closely related to D or B. So is C more closely related to D or B. Because C and D share more recent common ancestor they are more closely related. So C is more closely related to D than with B where it has recent common ancestor here. So distance between two species B and C would be as follows. So this is the distance plus this and this distance. But between C and D would be only this distance and this distance here and we do not count this distance which are represented by vertical line. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.